Yo, so what's going on, you little princesses in training? It is Pwn, and we are playing a little bit of COD 4. We're right back in here. I love this map. I don't know what it is about it. Of course, I get prenated, and this gameplay is going to be unique because I'm trying to mess around with the MP44 because I absolutely suck with it. may just be the gun. I'm going to go with it's the gun uh, because I don't think it's me. I get outplayed. They take out... That's my rush. That's my fucking rush they just pulled on me. I hate when people use the same thing on me. Maybe that's why I wouldn't be a good gay because I couldn't take it. It's just, I know what I'm good at it, and I hate when people use it at me. So I'm like, these guys, I'm getting I'm getting last standed, I'm getting outplayed, these guys know what's going on, I'm trying to rock out the MP44, I went to my uh, weapon classes to see if there was anything I can use, realized that there was nothing strong in there, because I use weird shit, I had like an MP5 ACOG, it's like I had the most unusual shit ever, so I'm like, crap, I'm stuck with this. And they just ended up pissing me off, and I just keep losing these gunfights, and I'm like, okay, okay, like, here we go, here we go, we'll do it, we'll do it. So switch it around, pull out the P90, and basically this this gameplay is turning a frown upside down. I think I start out like 0 and 5 or some shit, right? Oh, get smacked, get smacked literally with a knife though, and it was just crazy. But anyways, outside of that, you know this is a great gameplay. I end up turning this around, running a train on these guys, getting some revenge on them. I think I go on like a 20 gun streak. It's it's definitely the process of turning a frown upside down. This is definitely one way to turn it around, and um. <laughs> they rage quit too. It makes it just so much worth it. But anyways, I want to talk about last night, man. Last night was crazy. It's like two in the morning, and and if if you're any sort of gamer, you understand what it's like being up at four till four in the morning, you know, playing games occasionally, and you know, waking up at like two. I mean, you, you, or that may just be your summer because you guys got school, but you guys know what I'm talking about when you're younger. Um, but because YouTube is kind of my job, that's kind of what I do. Is I'll be up late night sometimes. Sometimes I wake up at like six, seven in the morning, and then. You know, I'll be out at 9, like usual, but my time is really, really unreliable. So I was up cleaning at, like, 3 in the morning last night, and, you know, and you're like, what, Pwn, you're cleaning? Don't you have a wife? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. And, um, <laughs> so I'm cleaning, and, you know, I'm, like, scraping off this pan. I made some hamburger helper or whatever, and I start scraping off this pan, and last night was just a fucking mess. Just the exact reason why men should not ever have to clean ever, like, ever, and I was cleaning off this plate into this uh, into the thing, and I successfully scraped it off and cleaned it off into the trash can. And I try to pull out the trash bag, and it falls like all of it overlaps and falls out while I'm trying to tie, and it like gets on the counter. There's little fucking ham chunks all over the place. It's like uh, these little hamburger things are everywhere. They fall inside the trash can. They fall on the counter. They fall on the top of the lid of the trash can. And, you know, I got really pissed because I'm like, damn, I just scraped that off and I got to clean it up. And, you know, then I go and then we don't have any clean rags and I'm getting pissed as fuck. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I try to take the tash bag out. And because there's still so much of it on top of the lid, the lid closes on my head and I get all this hamburger helper in my fucking hair. So I got mad and it doesn't end there either. I got done. I, I switched in. I put, put a load in the dishwasher and our dishwasher is all dodgy and shit. It's got like one of the corners. It's like, it's... Kind of like it's got this gangster lean. It's like sideways and shit. So even though it latches, the right side kind of like protrudes. I don't know how it works, but it sticks out a couple inches. And <laughs> I needed to get a cup out of the top shelf, and I stabbed my dick with a dishwasher. Don't know how often that happens for you guys. Hopefully your dishwashers don't do that to you. Mine really, really does it. But maybe it's just because I'm dirty and it knows it needs to clean me. I don't know. But uh, that was my random story. The exact reason why women are supposed to be in the kitchen. They understand that shit. I don't. Uh, so I just wanted to put that out there. But uh, anyways, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. And that's so embarrassing. Why did I tell you guys that? Maybe I'll tell you some other embarrassing stories soon. It's been a while since I've done a few of those. So, you know, it, it's always great. And I wish I would have had a better gun than the P90. I wish I would have had the AK or something to fall back on. I, you always should have, like, one class that's a tryhard class that if you need to fuck with. Like, I always had my MLG class, my FAMAS. Red Dot Sight, because I used to scream with MLG Pros and, like, Black Ops and stuff. So I always had a try-hard class in case there's an asshole or <laughs> a tuber or a hiccup or anything like that. So, you know, that's just the story. That's, that's what we have so far. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Remember to rate it up. A like and favorite helps out a lot. Rage quit, bitches. Call me daddy. Call me daddy.